Hi everyone, my name's Olivia and I'm content writer and editor at Tug Agency. Uh, this is a presentation on how to write great blogs that people and search engines will love. So, this is the Tug blog. You can find it if you go to www.tugagency.com forward slash blog. And um, we keep it regularly updated. Um, various different members of the Tug team contribute to and write blogs on a regular basis. But why is it that we do that? What is your blog for? There are many reasons that you might choose to write a blog. Uh, here are a few. To connect with your target audience, to assert brand authority, to increase traffic to your website, to improve your site's SEO, and to share your expertise. So if you are tasked with writing a blog, many people struggle to come up with ideas. So here are a few suggestions as to what you could write about. Relevant news, so do you have a unique take on a news development that's relevant to your industry? Company updates, such as media coverage, new hires, business wins, and new product drops that your target audience might be interested in. Educational pieces, whether that's how-to guides, top tips, or roundups from conferences or events. Uh, these can be really helpful for people who are looking to learn new skills or, or build their knowledge in your relevant field. And finally, opinion pieces. If you've got an opinion on a, something that's going on in your industry, you can share it as a, in a blog. If you're still struggling to find ideas, there are some really good resources out there that can help. So here are a few where to find blog inspiration. Keyword tool is a free tool that you can use to see what some of the most popular keywords and questions search for by users in your industry. Twitter advanced search is another great option. You can type your keyword and select the filter questions and it will show all the questions that people are asking on that specific topic on Twitter. Answer the public is another option. This one helps you find questions that people are asking and you can answer them in a blog format. Reddit is another option. Uh, you can follow industry specific threads to hear about new topics before they make it to the media. You can also follow industry specific news sites. For example, if you are in the marketing industry, you could follow Ad Age, The Drum and DigiDay. Uh, they're constantly updated with the new and trending topics. So once you've chosen your topic, what do you do next? It's really important to perform some keyword research if you want your blog to be optimized for SEO. Uh, so what are keywords? Keywords are the words and phrases that searches enter into search engines, which are also known as search queries. You can use Google Keyword Planner to find keywords relevant to your blog idea. All you need to do is enter a couple of example keywords and the keyword planner will return a list of similar keywords with their search volumes. Higher search volumes mean that more people are searching for these keywords, but they are more competitive, so the chance of ranking highly for them is quite slim. Long tail keywords have fewer searches, but you're more likely to rank and get relevant traffic to your site. Next is the research phase. So, before you start writing, it's great to read around on the topic you've chosen before starting. You can read media and industry specific articles, find out what people are saying on social media, have a look and see what already ranks for your keywords and think about how you can improve on what others have already written. It's always a good idea to save any relevant articles you find because you can link to them from your blog and use them as sources. When it comes to structuring your blog, here are some gui guidelines. Subheadings are helpful to break up large chunks of text, as well as giving your writing some structure and improving the blog's SEO value. Paragraphs. Short paragraphs work best online. Three to eight sentences per paragraph keeps people's attention. Sentences. Aim for 25 words or less. If it's longer than that, it usually means you can break it into multiple sentences or cut it down. This helps with readability. Bullet points, quotes, stats, and figures all help to break up the text. And for, for people who are skim reading, this is a really great way to digest the information quickly. Images are also important. Visual representations of the topic you're writing about, because people have short attention spans and images keep them interested. There are a few really good stock photo websites out there that are available for free, such as Unsplash and Pexels. In terms of word count, 500 to 800 words is the sweet spot for getting your point across and also being good for SEO. Optimizing blog content. Optimize your blog for SEO by including the keywords you've identified into your blog naturally. Keyword stuffing is 
when writing the keyword too frequently. This is actually bad for SEO and can result in your web page not ranking well. It's also a good idea to include internal links. These transfer authority between pages and keep users within the site and reading your amazing blog posts. People often get bogged down in choosing the title for their blog, which is why I always say, write the blog first and the title last. A great title sets the tone and establishes the key subject of the article. You should always try to include your main keyword in the title. There are various different headline formulas you can follow, but don't get too hung up on this. Writing your meta title. So the meta title is the title that appears in the search engine results pages. For example, here you can see it in purple. It says massive fines show the ICO is serious when it comes to upholding, dot, dot, dot. Aim to have a targeted keyword near the beginning of the meta title and keep the title short and sweet. Titles usually get cut off around 50 to 60 characters. As you can see above, this one's too long, so it hasn't shown fully in the search results. It's a good idea to capitalize each word and use line breaks as shown here. Writing your meta description. The meta description is the, is the piece of text that appears below the title in gray. Uh, it's great for giving users an insight into what the web page contains, and it's also great for increasing click-through rates. So it aims to give an overview of what the blog post is all about and incentivize people to click through. Meta descriptions usually get cut off around 150 to 160 characters. So that's my quick guide on writing great blogs. Thanks very much for listening, and hope you tune in to the next video on Tugs. YouTube channel.